WMS supports an integrated interface with HECRAS. In this video, we will develop a HECRAS model in WMS. We'll start with a WMS project that already has a tin and background image loaded. Next, we'll create centerline and cross-section coverages. Then draw out the river center lines and banks in the center line coverage. Now we'll assign the correct attributes and names to the center line and bank arcs. We'll now load the materials for the area of interest into WMS. We'll select each polygon and assign it to one of the material types. The polygon color fill will be turned on in the display options to better visualize the different materials. We'll now create three cross sections for each reach in a cross section coverage. We'll then extract the elevations for the cross sections from the tin. The cross section profile can be viewed and edited by double clicking the cross section. We'll view the material properties to see what Manning's Zen values assigned to each material and assign the material roughness in the model control. We'll then export the HECRAS model. HECRAS will then be opened automatically, but before we run HECRAS, we will need to enter some additional information. We'll enter the distance between the junction cross-section with the aid of the WMS measurement tool. For the steady flow data, we will enter in the flows for each reach. And set up the boundary conditions by entering in the slopes for each reach. Before we run HECRAS, we'll enter in the number of subsections. We'll now run HECRAS. And read the solution into WMS. To visualize the HECRAS results, we'll interpolate the water surface elevations for the center lines and cross sections. We'll then delineate a flood in the terrain module. This will create tins that represent the water surface elevations and the flood depths. Color fill contours will be turned on to better visualize the results.
This concludes the WMS HECRAS analysis video.